G'day guys, Carla from Go Travel. We've made a few changes. Got the big package delivered, so that's the pacemaker exhaust. Um, we'll get it all cut open and laid out. We're also going to do this while we're in there, so this is secondary cat pipes. Well, everything's definitely packaged well. It's got tape and bubble wrap and everything on it. New bolts and gaskets. Alright, so that's the exhaust laid out. Something like that, okay? So, I didn't film taking it off. It was an absolute mission, pain in the ass. If you can get a mate to help you, heaps easier. We got it out. You can do it by yourself, it's just a bit fiddly. So, this is the factory system. And then this is the new system. So, I will then point out the differences in it. So these pipes here are the AVA cat pipes. <laughs> One thing I didn't realize is the Patrol actually has four cats in it from standard. So you've still got a couple of cats under there, just for those who uh, are wondering. So these are the factory cat pipes. Now, I just want to show you the main reason I ended up going cat pipes. Right, so that's a two and a half inch pipe. Whereas that is a two inch pipe. So not to mention the four cats going to two cats and then two and a half inch pipe, it'll just flow better. Um, in case you're wondering about the two inch inlet as well with the factory headers. So it is a bit of a rolled lip, a bit different, but anyway. Now when you come through this split pipe where the two banks turn to one, so it's the same thing. The factory unit is a two inch pipe Whereas the pacemakers is almost two and a half, so two and a half inch. One thing that did surprise me is the factory pipe actually gets quite wide towards the back end of it. Two and three quarters. See, so yeah, the factory pipe goes to two and three quarters. As you can see, it's quite restrictive, this, this factory exhaust system. So, right, they're muffler wise. So, this big unit, that is what keeps it quiet. That's, what, that's a factory muffler versus the new pacemaker muffler. So, so just them side by side, you can see the big difference. Now, I'm hoping this doesn't drain, but I decided not to go with the rear muffler. Um, and the main reason for that is, as bogan as it sounds, I want that loud, obnoxious, I'm a big, powerful V8 sound. This driver's side temp sensor, easy as to get out. This passenger side one, absolute nightmare. Actually, another thing worth mentioning too, I wish I put this exhaust on before the bash plates. The bash plates is what's caused me so much grief. So if you don't have bash plates, it'll be a million times easier than what I've had to battle with. What a bloody mission, but I'm excited. This is gonna be the first time I hear this thing. So, hopefully everything's all right. A slight little alignment issue. Now, no doubt, <laughs> don't get me wrong, it's sorting itself out, but uh, no doubt that's just the way I've bolted it together. So, I'm just gonna get the oscillator out and I'll just cut a little wedge out of that, clear the bumper, and then we'll be right. This is the first time I've cut this car. Alright, so not the neatest cut, but it's under the car, so you'll never see it. And also, this bumper is going shortly, so it doesn't matter. But that fixes my problem. No more burning plastic, hopefully. Good morning, guys. So, we're going to do a cold start with a new exhaust and hear what it sounds like. So, 
Just excuse all the mess on the floor of my garage. on the freeway and that's the noise as you can hear more tire noise than exhaust noise just a 0 to 80 normal acceleration As you can see, it is quite tame inside the car. Like you hear more tire noise than anything else. I'm gonna do a couple of runs. This is camera mounted on the back windscreen, and I'll do a hard pull. So you can hear it snap through the gears, revving its freckle out. And then I'll just do a casual acceleration so you can hear the noise. At the very start, I said to you guys, that V8 was the main reason I was buying this thing. Always wanted to be a bogan with a V8. And of course that means that I wanted it to be loud. I wanted it to sound like a V8. Look, is this system obnoxious? It is somewhat obnoxious, but for me, I love it. <laughs> I know it is such a bogan thing, but it's just, it's what I wanted. It's what I wanted out of this car. And it, it warms my heart to hear that obnoxious V8 rumble. Well, <laughs> it's probably a bit thong slappy, but I still like it nonetheless. I still think it's a cool thing. Like always, I'd love to hear your thoughts and opinions. Am I just being a big bogan <laughs> or is it cool? If you like what you see, feel free to subscribe. And of course, until next time, guys, go travel.